ones we prayed for this morning. Remember right. Brother Dane's preaching for his brother. Right. And Sister Jean is having car trouble. Remember her and her vehicle. Also, Brother D uh, Dick had some here. It says, uh, Sister Gail's got the flu. Remember her. Janice Johnson got cancer. Uh, Deborah Forum has got heart trouble. Jamie Britt, cancer. And little Daniel, their grandson's going to change doctors and try another doctor. So we want to take that bad allergy problems away from him and sister june has one that says her sister amy is sick hannah needs a job and the family of brian armstrong from arizona killed in a car accident remember that family sister esther had a couple one of them's uh pray for uh brother george he's got a bad place on his heel this oh it's an open wound on his heel so remember him George Cannon and also remember Dwayne Anderson uh, the doctors that have found lung liver and cancer and esophagus cancer and he's just not taking it too well so just remember him whoever this young fellow is so just be with him and the family also brother Donnie gave me one said there's a family uh, remember a family that used to live close to him on the same street he did the father hung himself and he's got three children and a wife that he's leaving behind and he didn't leave nothing to go with it money wise or anything so just remember that family also remember Cole uh, again remember him whatever his need is Lord knows what it is forgot about the announcements remember uh, the 8th annual chili cook-off coming up uh, this Saturday so remember that over here if you're interested brother Buster's got a uh, thing going on in November 2nd through the 4th at Murfreesboro Tennessee brother Eddie Beskill will be there preaching so remember that as we go pray, Wade will be traveling. Right. Me and Mom and Lisa and all of them will be traveling. Brother remember Dick. Amy Cushane. Amy Cushane, right. remember, still Rudy remember. Yeah. And family. And the family. Just continue yeah. praying for her. I, I presume she's still in the hospital yeah. having problems, so remember her as we pray. Brother Danny. Uh, <coughs> a co-worker of mine, her mother had, had surgery. Uh, Amen. <laughs> first name, I'm not sure what that's Remember that. Also remember the shower coming up next Sunday between services for Tim Bowen and Esther. Remember that. Also remember uh, after the second service. I'm sorry. And also remember December the 9th coming up on the uh, uh, Christmas get together which Dad has announced. So remember that also. I know we all have unspoken requests this afternoon. Let's all go to Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for letting us come out this afternoon, Lord, be with the ones that are traveling. Many people will be traveling this afternoon, Lord, you come down and bless us all as we travel. Remember the ones that, are on, that we're praying for. Remember Amy Kershane there, Lord, and remember Sister Gail and the ones that Brother Dick had mentioned here. Just come down and bless them. Brother George Canada, the one that also Sister Esther had mentioned with cancer there, Lord, come down and bless them also and take us away. Remember, still remember Catherine there, Lord, by your stripes she's healed. Continue to bless the ones that, Lord, we have on the prayer list. Continue to bless them. Just be with us all and give Dad strength this afternoon, Lord. Forgive us for all of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wade's got an announcement to make. Just real quick, Brother uh, Benny is kind of taking care of uh, the Atlanta Journal papers. Those of you that went through the couponing class last, last Sunday, you can be seated last Sunday and just remember to get in touch with him because we're going to start doing it on a monthly basis and we're going to start paying him up front that way he can get his money <clears throat> you should have that in your emergency fund or your coupon fund one but just remember to get, see brother Benny when you uh, when you leave and also give him your email address if you're doing your couponing thank you brother <clears throat> just keep it you can take up the Awesome. <laughs> Should have took it up on the way up. Jim. We need a show of hands who needs a video. So we don't make it too many videos. Oh, who needs the papers? Let me see. The video. Oh, who wants to watch the video that was not here for the true couponing class that Sister Michelle did last Sunday? Who needs a copy of that? Okay. Sixteen. 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 All right. Sixteen. So, 
Just make about 20 copies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? He's about 17, that's about right. 17, all right. But anyway, and what we're doing is, I want to just kind of give you a little brief um, overview. This is not just something to waste time with. It's uh, saving money, but Sister Michelle kind of came to us and gave us a, uh, a way last Sunday of, of getting a food bank started in your church. The way the couponing thing works, is you save different kinds of coupons during the, during the course of a month out of a paper. Then you take that, you do a buy one, get one free, you do a two for one, you do all these things. Well, anyway, like, <clears throat> like you know, Benny gave me eight rolls of Rock Guard one day, and I thought, why are you wasting money? He said, I got them all for like 80 cents. Eight rolls of Rock Guard. Well, I told him, I said, well, turn around and sell them to somebody. Don't just give them away, but you can't do that. But what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get a food bank or a <coughs> personal hygiene, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to call it, together as a church. And that way, like with Brother Timbo and Esther getting married, and, and if some of you fall on the hard times, we can put it in a box. We can store it at my house, downstairs, wherever we want to store it. We can take that box and give it to you, and it will have, <coughs> how many are you going to use? Eight cans of right guard, or eight things of right guard. Some of us need it, but, <laughs> but you know, you say, well, what are you going to do with eight cans? Well, keep one for yourself. Take the other seven and put them up. Then when somebody comes along on hard times or somebody needs a can of this or a can of that, you know, Sister Michelle showed us at Walgreens, they had this big, huge, huge pallet full, wasn't it? This high, right? Everybody that was there, that pallet was this high full of drinks and miscellaneous items and four buggies at Walgreens. They spent four dollars and seventeen cents. And you say, well Walgreens, well they do that. If you'll go to that true couponing website, Walgreens has put an ad on the one I saw Thursday that's begging people to come. We will take your coupons. See they get paid by volume. They get those manufactured coupons, they get that money back. Plus they get eight cents to handle it. So they're not losing money. They're making money. <clears throat> but Walmart, I mean Walgreens, if you're bringing a pallet out and putting a pallet in, the manager, the store associates, and all those people get a bonus off of what they sell. The volume. So even on that true couponing, the one in Sarasota, Florida said, we will accept and help you with your couponing. So don't be, don't be shy with doing this. This is a great way, like Sister Michelle said, it's a great way to bless somebody else. God bless you to do what you're doing, then you bless somebody else. June the other day just kind of didn't have a coupon, but she was using some, a coupon somewhere and got like how many things of chapstick? Six. Six chap for how much? A dollar. You know, so you see what I'm saying? Put some of those up and we'll we'll get a, a kind of a thing going where we can save some of that stuff and somebody gets married like Timbo. Hey, how many of you would like to have a stock shelf when you were, first got married? Amen. Hello, everybody. We all would. You know, you'd open yours up and the mouse is going, you know, when you and I got married, you know, the mouse was poor as we were, so. But now we'll be able to bless somebody. What I'm saying is it's not a con game. It's not something to con. These people want you to do that. You know why? It's brand recognition. If you'll study all this stuff, and a lot of you that are in that are in retail and in marketing, it's brand recognition. What you see. If you see a lot of right guard, then guess what? Sooner or later, you're going to buy some right guard. Or this or that or the other. So use these coupons. Get with Brother Benny. If you have any questions, go to that true couponing.com. It will help you buy groceries. Even Ashley the other day from work, she got online and she saved $33 going to Kroger out of about $100 worth of product, which she saved 30%. You know, on her on her bill, on her group, on her food bill. So it's just something that's that's added to what we're doing with the Dave Ramsey course. And I want to thank all of you that went through it. Most of you, probably 90% of the church has been through it. Uh, we paid off roughly in my figure and in my head about $75,000 in debt and from the two classes, saved about $30,000 and avoided close to $400,000 in debt. So give yourself a big hand because you're the one that did it. And that's real money. That's just not something that you play with. So you know what? God's going to bless you by blessing others. All right, And that's what we're here for. We're here to bless other people, not to bless ourselves. 
You ought to know that from our pastor. He's the greatest blesser of anybody I've ever seen in my life. You know, he does without to bless you. So we're just giving some of that back so that we can help others. And I want to thank each and every one of you for the gift on your last class. You should not have done that. But thank you to all of you that were in the second class. You gave Gene and I a very nice gift, a monetary gift that we're going to use and uh, take off a weekend maybe and kind of recuperate a little bit. So thank you each and every one of you. I appreciate it. It was money and time well spent. And I hope that was in your budget. I hope that was in your budget what you gave me because uh, June and I because we didn't deserve that. We did it. We do it for free. We always do it for free because we love you guys. We want to see you do good. If you do good, we'll do good. We all do good. Smiles on our face. Everybody happy. Now Brother Dick can come and sing us some song. Wake up. Good afternoon. Amen, amen, amen. Every little bit helps. Yes, sir, it does. It does. Yes, sir. Amen. I just hope what I got lasts me till I'm done with it here. Let's try number 212 in the red book. Are you washed in the blood? About A flat. Y'all sing out. Your song leaders, you know, I'm not talking about it like this, but I do. He ain't getting no younger. Get what he can't see. Get the line fixed up, what have you. Forget the chords and everything. So, have you been to Jesus with the plan?
play the piano they don't have something on their head I said what do you mean he said well they need a veil on their head I said not them ladies <laughs> I, I, I said they don't cut their hair oh like that you know but you don't never know you know and you know I found out this morning and it's true you need to faith, share your faith every opportunity you get. Right. Because yeah. if you don't, right. one day you'll forget how. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the right. next thing you know, you forget you even say. <laughs> yep. Oh my. That's, Hallelujah. That's good. Let's, That's good, brother. David. Let's go about the D. Amen. Open the eyes of my heart. Scriptures turn back where we've been reading from 
Revelation 1 and Revelation 6. Try to continue the thought on this morning, but we'll back up and review just a little bit back over to where we were maybe and try to speak on a little bit. Remember the announcements. Remember that Brother Forney will be here with us, Lord willing, preaching Wednesday. Uh, and remember that uh, this coming weekend will be Bible study. Yes. So remember that and come and be with us. All the other announcements. Father, we thank you for your love and your grace and thank you for all things. And we know that you give them to us freely. So we thank you and we pray that you would just guide us now as we talk about you and talking about the plan of redemption. That's it. To see how others are redeemed and we see how that we are redeemed. And Lord, we see that there's nothing worthy in any of us anywhere of any form or any people that has brought a plan of redemption unto us, but it was because you promised it. So now you promised in this end time to open your word. So now we ask you to do that and just guide each one. Bless the sick among us. Come and touch each one and just have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Revelations 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John who by record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ remember what we're saying this morning now the testimony of Jesus Christ watch the others in a minute they have their own testimony but not this and of all things that he saw blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand Revelation 6 verse 9 and when he had opened the fifth seal I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held see not the testimony of Jesus Christ but the testimony they held and they cried with a loud voice saying how long O Lord holy and true dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth and white robes were given unto every one of them and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled you may be seated the Lord had his blessing to the reading of the word now I want us go back into the message this morning and then come back down to an end part so just bear with me we've seen as the prophet said this is not the bride he used to think it was right. That's right. he used to think it was the bride of Christ the soldier under the altar that were martyred down through time right. and he said that was not correct right. and uh, you know then he seen what it was and he said this is Israel to be saved as a nation right. well see we never dealt with that redemptive form of Israel being saved as a nation right. we haven't dealt with that uh, the uh, <laughs> Uh, the prophet did but we haven't gotten into that to speak on it much because we've not heard a lot of ministers ministering on these things right. but I believe it's time to understand the full plan of redemption Amen. and as I was telling my wife this morning if we don't get ever place in other words each one That's in right. place of the redemptive plan then we leave a gap in the plan of redemption right. Right. see and we wouldn't have the fully revealed plan of redemption so by way of the prophet messenger and by way that we've been bringing it so we can see the complete plan for everybody Amen. Old Testament Jews has a place the uh, you know the bride of Christ has a place the uh, the foolish virgins has a place the 144,000 has a place Amen. and now we're talking about the fifth seal and their place and part in the plan of redemption that's right and I've told you over and over that to me, and I've always preached it that way, the greatest plan, the greatest thought of, of grace that could ever be written right. in the Word of God That's right. is not you and me. You know, right. It is Israel right. that right. God will save right. as a nation to give them eternal life one day yeah. and that they will, you know, they in no way want it right they rejected it and it's not even the 144,000 group 
Now, to me, when 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 I say 144,000, you'll see more as we go along. I'm putting that 144,000 together with the the Israel of God because you cannot separate that right, two. Right, no. uh, right. Brother said to me a while ago. He said, uh, "Then when they're crying, how long?" He said, "They're wanting that 144,000 to come on." I said, "You're right. right. Well, uh, they're wanting to man. see what's going on, right, right. you know." And uh, but just think on these things now. So we covered this morning and brought it down to to seeing that. Uh, Paul said all Israel Romans 11 26 right along in there talking about all Israel right. would be saved now right. if you enjoyed the this verse after verse of the scriptures yes, there to see Amen. that the family knows that we, we are uh, the word is true Amen. and like I said I believe God opened Paul's understanding right. because he cried out and you may not have I may not have finished my point but Solomon wanted wisdom and God saw that in his heart. So he gave him wisdom and understanding you know, and all. And Paul wanted his people. He so was burdened for his people Israel. That's right. Until he, I believe he was crying out constantly and he was constantly quoting the scriptures of the Old Testament prophets and things that would talk about the Israel of God. And see then I believe the Lord just opened his eyes and let him see. Right down to the time that he said all Israel shall be saved right well we know that all Israel is never the right point to use we'll get to it in a minute that were he never said all Jews will be saved he said all Israel will be saved right Amen. he didn't say all Jews he didn't bring it that way so you'll get to point in a minute when we get to it but to see the plan of redemption for Israel and see the crying in Paul's heart and see God answering that with a revealing of the word unto him about what would happen to Israel after we leave out of here. Right. That's a great understanding. No wonder Peter would say, Paul says things hard to be understood. Yep. And he said, they that are not learned right. wrestle to their own destruction. Right. Right. You know, I mean, he, he was, he, he, Peter knew Paul was saying things and Paul said, I saw things I can't talk about. Right. Amen. Well, maybe he saw that fifth seal too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, right. maybe he right. saw his own people saved. Mm -hmm. And he come back to try to tell it. Well, how can you tell it? Right. Because you can't even hardly tell it now. You know, you can't even hardly get the people to see that there is a people that will be there right. because God promised them to be there. Right. Amen. And it won't be that they get born again here they have to receive right. eternal life somewhere though right. mm -hmm. but yet they'll be there in the great times to fall our own and won't it be wonderful to be able to think about that I've always wondered about the scripture because it says that we'll sit down at the welcome table with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob right. mm -hmm. and Brother Tatum he always loved that scripture he'd quote that a lot and, and you know they're going to be at the, at the welcome table right well, I've always took it to be the welcome table would be the the marriage supper of the Lamb, you know. I mean, that's what I believe it is, and it may be something else too, but I believe they'll be there. I believe there's going to be, there's always company at a wedding, you know. Right. And there's always a group of people at a wedding supper, other than just the, quote, family, yeah. you know, members. Right. You always have guests of honor and right. things, you know, right. to be there. But now, see what up? I ended up talking about and we gave it that even this fifth seal Jew and I had never tied that together until our Wednesday night as it began to unfold amen. and that's when I love to preach right, amen. I love to preach when I'm seeing something right. unfold that I haven't been preaching on it like that you know? amen. and uh, I had always just took the 144,000 as to being the uh part that you know would be dealing with Daniel 70 weeks right. but then we gave the quotes there this morning where the prophet said in the sixfold purpose right. that that those people were blinded their eyes were blinded yeah, right. Right. you see the 144,000 is blinded mm -hmm. sure. so just put the 144,000 and the field seal Jew kind of together in a way of understanding because see the 144,000 were blinded just as well as the other parts that were killed down through there they were blinded and they would be part of those group coming down. Right. 
that it would be the Israel of God you know God's chosen nation and he gave and we were reading where Paul said this is my covenant with them well if Abraham had a covenant it was certainly an unconditional covenant That's right. All right. nobody done anything to deserve it nobody was something special that would make them uh, think is the reason that they're saved That's right. and you can just you, you, you start preaching like that and you can see people's expressions as they kind of you know and you're, you're kind of wondering maybe do they think that there is some good reason that they've done for getting yeah. saved right. is there any good thing you could do for salvation when Paul would explain that you could even give your body to be burned right you know I mean you give everything in the world you had and it's still not going to save you that's right. yeah. All right. that's, that's just, let's just get it down to the fact of what salvation really is it's the grace of God imparted unto mankind All right. irregardless of what category we're in it's there so we saw as it said in the Gabriel's instructions to Daniel paragraph 48 and 49 that these people in the that he's talking about under the sixfold purpose will have the end of their sins done away Man, and finish right. the transgressions and the right. things and all and it will, will apply to them as they see it so then truly Paul was correct if we see the 144,000 and like I said this morning then we'll get into it maybe in another service where Dan and Ephraim is taken out yeah. Joseph right. and Levi's put in yep. by doing that we know for a certainty there's going to be more than 144,000 in right. the millennium mm -hmm. the prophet said the, the, the 144,000 would be in the millennial reign right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. so there's going to be more there than just what we think right. maybe yeah. <clears throat> all right so let's pick up the point where Paul is saying truly all Israel will be saved right. God is going to save his people mm -hmm. right. we were talking about it at lunch dinner but what's the difference in God's people you know they were a chosen nation etc sure. why didn't they get eternal life well, there's some specific reason why and I, I don't know why but for some reason he chose a Gentile bride mm -hmm. I don't understand that I, I'm truthfully I believe it got a part of it but maybe it's because that it would be a Gentile which would not mean just all as I said all Africans or all Germans or whatever it would be everybody including Israel would have an opportunity of salvation because this part, this part started off with Jews. That's right, absolutely. 120 in the upper room were Jews. Right. Yep. All right. So our roots is Jewish right. of the natural, and our roots are Jewish in the spiritual. Right, amen. Because he didn't go out and get all the Gentiles and bring them in. Right. Till after right. he brought the Holy Ghost down. Amen. <clears throat> all right. See, then we're dealing with the 144,000. You're dealing with only the elect, not ever Israelite. Right. Amen. When Paul right. said all Israel will be saved, he didn't say all Jews. He didn't say all Israelites. Mm -hmm. Had he said that, then God would have to save every one of them. Mm -hmm. But he said all Israel. Right. Israel is a reference to chosen it's like Jacob's name was changed right to Israel all right so then that means the chosen of God so there is a chosen group of people that were blinded right. Amen. so you and I could have eternal life Amen. so we could need to quit tooting our horn and start preaching the word Amen. you know Amen. oh ain't it something who we are look at who we are how did we get here? Right. What did God have to do to get us here? A lot. Right. 
Amen. A whole lot. All right. But now watch. Let's start off then where we left off on. We was on number uh, 10. So let's pick up the scriptures on number 11. And you'll notice we read this morning in Romans 11, what, 13 through 26 or something, 20, 29 or something. Right. All right. So let's go to thir number 10, read it, then go from there going down. On the sixfold purpose of Gabriel's instruction. <clears throat> Paragraph 49. God cut them off purposely and blinded their eyes so that we could have a chance to see. Giving us an opportunity. When we walk around like we're somebody. Yep. Paul tells him here, take heed of how you do that. Take heed for if God spared not the natural branch, <coughs> Israel. How will we have any more mercy? Will he have any more mercy? On the wild branch, right. that's already what? That's the mess up junk, right? right? So we walk around and say, I'm Presbyterian. I'm Methodist. I'm Baptist. I'm Pentecost. I'm Brownites. Now I added that quote right. in there, okay? Yep. I'm Lulaites. And he had that one in there. You know? right. Right. That don't mean nothing to God. Right. 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 You've got to be born again of that Holy Spirit that come from the root. That's right. Remember, Jesus come from the tribe of Judah. Right. Not naturally speaking, spiritually. Right. All right. And remember, he's not speaking of the Gentiles. I'm just throwing this in here so that you can see where the Gentiles had their change. But he come to finish the transgression, make a finish of it. Right. All right. Now let's read verse, let's go to the Romans 11, go to verse 1 through 13. Now, and just see what God is saying. I say then, if God cast away his people, who's he talking about? Israel, right? God forbid. Right. In other words, no. For I also am an Israelite yep. of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. I used to think that he was giving that to try to show his lineage. But you know, I believe now what he's doing. Yep. He's giving that to show that he's the dirtiest of all. And if he could be the dirtiest of all, because he said he's the chiefest of sinners, and God could save him, he could save anybody. You know what? Paul even calls them to blaspheme. Now that's pretty bad. No wonder them fellas were scared of him in the book of Acts. I mean, wouldn't you be scared of somebody that come in here and turned all of us in and they come in here and wiped the whole place out just about it? You know, I come walking back in, you know, hi. Y'all love me, don't you? No, they're afraid of me. But you don't know what I might do. All right. But now watch. God has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Won't you know what the scripture saith of Isaiah? Or Isaiah? Or Elias. I said Elias there, but it's Isaiah. How he maketh intercession to God against Israel, say. Now read Isaiah and see what he's saying. Lord, in other words, Isaiah is, is <clears throat> pleading the cause with God. The Lord, yep. they have killed our prophets mm -hmm. and dig down thine altars. Yep. And I am left alone, and they seek my life. Watch it. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then, at this present time, also there's a remnant according to the election of grace. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, now, and if by grace it is no more of works, otherwise, grace is no more grace, but if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Yeah. Otherwise, works is no more work. Well, you know, that kind of jumbled up, don't it? But look at it like this. In plain sense, it ain't nothing good what we've done or haven't done. That ain't got anything to do with it. It's what he done. And we can count our works as being something great. Works then would just be works. And all we've done is tired. Right? You're tired because you work. That's the basis of it. Just a good old mule. Right. Work is self to death. He used to plow. They, they, they just plow all day long, but you better be careful. He's standing in the stall. You think he's sound asleep. 
and you walked by him and you kicked the fire out of him. <laughs> Worked him, had a lot to do with him. <laughs> the reason I did, I've been down to there and done a lot of work in myself. I try, I tried. I was a good old mule when I was in the bad All right, look, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right. Now what's it? The fifth field you ain't got it yet. Right, right. But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yep. Now if that ain't enough to show you yeah. what God has done. Right. <laughs> yep. The elect is those that come into the body of Christ. The other is Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. He hasn't got it yet. But the election hath obtained it, the people that come in to be the bride. Paul, Peter, James, John, Jews, right? And the rest were blinded. What? According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear yep. unto this day yep. now what's David now this is crying out for this fifth seal Jew the children of Israel and David said let their table be a snare yep. and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them right. let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always He's not saying, make that be. He's saying, that's what it's going to be. Yep. What's Paul? I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. Amen. But rather through their fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles. Yep. For to provoke them to jealousy. Yep. They're mad. They're, they're, you go over there right now. And you get pushed around. I was standing, I told you about it. I was standing getting ready to eat. And, and I mean, I was this close to the, in the bar and, and the lady was serving us. And this lady came up between me and that and got my food. <laughs> Excuse me. Because <laughs> she wasn't going to wait. You were in Israel. I was in Israel. <laughs> and that's how they treated you right now. All right. I say then how they stumble that they should fall, God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is coming to the Gentiles. Yeah. For to provoke them yeah. to jealousy. Sure. That's the dirtiest thing in the world for a Jew to think we're saved. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, right. he, he right. don't think we're saved. Uh -huh. He just uses America. Yes. He don't love America. Right. They just use America because they're on their side. Yeah. They, they don't give a hoot about who it is. They say, we got the Samson effect. Drop your bombs. Mm -hmm. They evidently got something they can take the whole thing for. Right. Amen. Sure, right. Mm -hmm. Listen. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, because it extended down through time and do it, right. and the diminishment of them, the riches of the Gentile, how much more their fullness. Right. What about a time? Now then you pick up where we left off this morning. And all Israel would be saved. Right. All Israel would come to salvation. Yeah. Right. Now listen to what the prophet had to say about it. Number 12. Take a question and answer it on the seal of paragraph 120. Now yes, these Jews are not. Not all the Jews will be saved. No, sir. They will not be saved, only those who, when he's speaking of, of Jew, Jew just is a name that was given to give to them after they left. I believe Nebuchadnezzar over began to call them Jews first because the tribe of Judah was taken then and given the name of Jew. So if you ever need that, you know that the prophet is covering it, where the Jews were, were come in. But the first word Jew is in um, the book of Esther All right. because they came down from Judah and that they got the name of Jew but now Israel is different Israel and Jew is altogether different I read it. That's 
right. Every Jew. Every Jew isn't an Israelite. Right. You only deal with one tribe. Right. Hmm? See? No, he's just a Jew. Right. But then Israel. Paul never said all Jews will be saved. That's right. He said all Israel will be saved. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Israel's name. That's that's the name of redemption oh, man. Man. all the way back. Right. Amen. Israel is a name of redemption. Then all Israel will be saved, but not all Judea. Judaism uh, will be saved. And all the Judaism, all, all that, they, they won't be saved. That's right. Amen. Why? Because that's not to, you know, that's not to be. Right. Amen. All right. Let's see who this group is. 445 of the fifth seal. He's talking about Elijah's spirit coming down and what would take place. Now we find out in Revelation 22, 8 the same thing. Now are to settle it for those who, those souls. Now watch it. Under the altar of the breaking of this seal, now that's the new fifth seal, right? That had been slain in the between time between the death of Christ and the going up of the church. So there's your fifth seal Jew between right. the death of Christ and the going up, all right? of the church, the Eichmann group and all that, yep. them true Jews <laughs> with their names on the book. Yep. Sure. Now only the ones that will ever be redeemed is their names on the book. Amen. Okay, no matter who we are. Amen. Jew, Gentile, whatever we are, if your name ain't on the book, right. you, you can't put it on the book. That's right. It's got to be on the book before the foundation Amen. of the world. Right. If you watch, my brother, according to the scripture, they could talk cry out, speak, hear, and have all five senses. Yep. Now these souls run to the altar, feel sealed to you. Yep. That's where I used to have it wrong. I, I used to preach it. That the theophany or the soul like that under the altar didn't have any senses. It was just eternal life. But I had to correct that in my, my teaching because I begin to see that Brother Branham, when he went beyond the curtain of time, and we'll get to that in another message that is called Souls Under the Altar. Right. Not the fifth seal Jew now. Right. When you say souls under the altar, how long? Brother Branham will apply that to the bride. Right. But when you say souls under the altar, how long? To avenge our blood can't be the bride. No, that's right. All right. So then you'll see that as we go along. See? Time between the death of Christ and the going up, the Eichmann group and all that were their name, their them true Jews with their names on the book. If you watch, my brother, according to the scripture, they could talk, cry out, speak, hear, and are all the five senses. And we know for certain that was a soldier on the altar because the Bible called it. Not sleeping in the grave unconscious. We'll cover that in the message. There is a doctrine of soul sleeping. Right. Yep. And there is a scripture that says the dead know not. So they use that to to try to say that when you die, you just you just gone. You're called soul sleeping. Yeah. Brother Brown said, don't believe that. So you'll see. That's another message. They were very much awake. I like to do that because I clipped a while ago and Julie come by and she said, I got to hear something. And said, you went over my head this morning. When you said Dan and Ephraim, yeah, and I tied in, so I just gave her the places in the church age book, and it's under the seventh seal. If you want to read them, it's two seventy church age book up to about two eighty one or two. Write it down and read it. it. Tells you about all the things that happened, yep. and then under the seventh seal, I miss some numbers, but it's over in the seventh seal. He deals with Dan and Ephraim being taken out and put back. So if you want to study it, it's dark. All right. They were very much awake and could talk, speak, hear anything. Is that right? Oh, help us. So those souls, those souls under the altar of the fifth sealed Jew is not just a dead bunch of nothing. No. Just like beyond the curtain of time, those were a well alive bunch of people that right around Amen. could feel, see, yes. hear. Amen. Right. Man. All right. But their names, my point is their names are on the book. Go to the next one, 14. 
page 274 of the church age book, Sardisian church age. This is not to suggest that there will be more names from the tribes of Israel remaining, be, will be no more names from the tribes of Israel remaining in the book of life. For many of those, but multitudes, through the principle of election, will be in the Gentile church. Yeah, that's fine. Right. And come into the body of Jesus Christ, showing that their names did indeed remain in the book also. Also, we will show according to the fifth seal, multitudes of martyrs, martyr Jews, yep. will be given white robes and eternal life by the Lord. Also, the 144,000 will be sealed in his coming, proving that their names were not deleted. All right. Now, he always believed that the souls under the altar was the early church. Go ahead with that one. In fact, I used it this morning, but we'll reuse it again. I got 104, the sixth seal. I always allowed them souls on the altar to be the early Christian church martyrs. But we found out last night when the Lord broke that seal for us, it absolutely is impossible. Right. It wasn't them. They were gone on to glory. Talking about the bride, right? Plumb on the other side. And there they was. We found out that they were Jews that would come up during the time when the from the calling now of the 144,000 What's him now? Which we get into tonight and tomorrow, and between the sixth and seventh seal, right. the hundred forty-four thousand is called. The sure. so where is this Jew going to come up during? Mm -hmm. So now he's putting one hundred forty-four thousand in the fifth seal Jew right together in one statement. Are you reading it? Mm -hmm. We found out that they were Jews, nice. fifth seal Jew. They would come up during the time where the from the calling now of the 144,000, which we get into tonight and tomorrow night, and between the sixth and seventh seal, 144,000 is called, and then we find out that they were martyred, that had been killed, and yet had not yet been had white robes on, but their names had been in the Lamb's Book of Life, and they were given white robes, each one of them. Now you go in there and separate the 144,000 from the fifth seal Jew. Come on, read. You're supposed to read. You can't separate them. He's got them all together. Well, we got a quote we'll get to later on another message. Brother Rudd said they're given white robes under the seventh seal. Right. So we'll get back in a minute. Talk about that. As to when will they get those robes? And what will happen? But I want to cover one thing for certain. He said, well, y'all just believe Brother Brown and just take everything he says. Well, that's all right. I think we ought to. And what's wrong can be corrected. And if he didn't correct it, we better watch what we do with it. Right. Uh, but now he gives evidence of why this is not the bride. Right? Well, let's go through that a minute and then we'll drop back. Go ahead to number 16. I took part of the evening message, shoved it up into the morning, and we go, okay. That's why it's not underlined. <clears throat> All the other, we get it underlined. Page, or paragraph 252, the fifth seal. Yes, they held the word of God. They were Jews. They had their law. They stayed with it. And watch what it said. They had their law. They stayed with it. They keep the law right now. Yep. They still set the tables. They do everything just according to their Passovers. And they do everything, even at the Passover, like Wade was covering years ago. At the Passover, they have a place set for Elijah. Sure. And they get up and they go to the door. Yep. They open the door. And if he doesn't come in to close the door, and said another year until next year until next year See? yep well they're keeping that law sure right. you're not talking about wall street bunch yeah. right 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 real true jews right right run said down there plowing yep mm -hmm. with a wooden blast stock right <laughs> now we used to have wooden blast stocks but we know what they got mm -hmm. they got one thing and it goes down we've seen them and we're over there. Not two animals like we do. They got one plow thing. 
is going, and they probably even use wooden plows. But if they couldn't beat the metal out to do it, they use something else. <clears throat> All right, but once they had their law, they stayed with it. You remember last night? Now they stayed with that, and they were Jews, and they had the law, and the law was the word of God. They stayed right by it. That's right. Now that's the fifth seal Jew. Right. The one who stayed with the word. Yep. Yep. Not everybody. See, all Israel is not Israel, right? Right, man. All do it. All Israel is Israel, but not all Jews. Right. Listen. And it says in that, which we read, or the testimony they held. What is their testimony? <clears throat> what is the testimony of a true Israelite? We are God's people. Rabbi Richmond said, I can't blame. Can't, can't have it that God chose us. Their testimony is not of Jesus Christ. Their testimony is of the word to hell. The law that Jehovah had given them. And they hold to it the best that they can know. Well, the testimony to hell, they were martyred. And here it was sold under the altar after the church had been gone. Right. Amen. Right. Now watch. They added their blindness, martyred their Messiah. Mm -hmm. And they were reaping now. Yeah. They were reaping for it. Yep. Yeah. Now would you mind reading that next few words for me? While I put this cough drop in. Would the whole congregation read that? They realized it. What did they realize? Now, where are they going to realize it? Yeah, that's right. When are they going to realize it? He's talking about Phil Seal Jew. He ain't talking about the 144,000 in there. Right. You're talking about fifth seal Jew. That fifth seal Jew one day is going to realize. Amen. Right? Amen. Where at? When? They recognize after it was gone on. Yep. They seen then when they come before the altar of God. I thought we were supposed to believe. Amen. They're under the altar of God. I saw souls under the altar. Right. Is that Revelation 5? I mean, Revelation uh, 6, verse 9? Right. Yes. I saw souls under the altar. What altar? The altar of God. God. Right. They got a place. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you understand. Mm -hmm. That Old Testament people had a place. Mm -hmm. You know what that was? The bosom of Abraham. Right? right. The faith of Abraham. Right. Made a place. Made a paradise. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now these are not put over there in the paradise that was left. No, no, no. Amen. Paradise was taken up. Amen. Right. The Bible says, the prophet says. Right. So this is under the altar. <laughs> they seen when they come before the altar of God. Now somewhere they're going to see the truth. Absolutely. Got to be. Now They'll cry how long to avenge. But now you show me after them, them crying how long. Mm -hmm. Or wanting revenge either. When they come under that altar and see what's happened, they don't want revenge anymore. They're given white robes. And we read it to you in Revelation, right? And was told to rest a little season until their fellow brethren List them, 144,000 right. are sealed. Right. 
So right prior to the sealing of the 144,000 are them being taken away in their redemptive plan. You're going to have to have a fifth sealed Jew to receive eternal life. Right. I've always taught and I've always taught it so I'm correcting my own that they would have to go to the white throne judgment and receive eternal life I no longer believe that because if they get white robes before the 144,000 are killed it's a vast amount of time before the white throne judgment comes which is like a millennium, a thousand years, and different things. Right. And you can't take somebody to the white throne and stand before the white throne with eternal life. Right. Absolutely not. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Don't take nobody to the white throne. We got a judgment of the deep done in the body, whether good or bad. And that's no white throne. Come on. That 144,000 don't go to the white throne, but yet they're not under the bride of Jesus Christ. Right. He said, well, I don't know. That's what I said. We're missing redemption. Amen. Right. All right. They come before the altar of God. Now the grace of God is to them. They've sealed you. Now watch. Now they could not by no means be saints. Because they'll already be robed. But here they are now, just sold under the altar for the word of God and the testimony they held for being God's people, the Jews. Isn't that something? That's right. Now, now, I can just see them on the internet now just flopping their gums. That's okay. But it's got to be salvation through Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. Nobody goes to heaven without the redemptive plan of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care whether Jew, Gentile, or whatever. It's through the blood of Jesus Christ. The Old Testament saints, as I said this morning, the blood of Jesus Christ paid their price. That paradise could be taken up. So it's all through Jesus Christ. Don't just run off, see. But now watch, the grace of God comes to them and Jesus gives them each one a white robe. Right. Right. Watch. Come over after the church is gone. So they don't have them we get out of here. Right. Nope. Two points. Yep. Probably says they don't have them until we get out of here. Nope. Right. The Bible says they don't have it until right there it is to the 144,000. Right. <laughs> but no one just plainly tell you what I believe. Uh-huh. Punks Brother Gary because he don't want to miss this point. I don't believe when that fifth sealed Jew dies that they'll receive eternal life. Now listen very closely. I don't believe they get it until we get out of here. Right. Because if they got eternal life, they'd be in the bride. Right. Exactly. They're not given eternal life until we leave. Right. Like I said, and the brother caught it. He said, they're crying, how long waiting on them 144,000? Yep. Right. They feel the pull. Yeah, that's right. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. But don't take them to the white throne. Okay. If I'm corrected by that, I'll be glad to take correction, if you can show me. But for 40-something years, I've studied that. Not just a week ago. Trying to see and understand. Sure, made a lot of statements of my own, but I'm always glad to come here and say, right. I don't believe that anymore. Amen. Amen. That's no problem to me. Right. Well, if people don't believe what you said, well, maybe God will take care of it. Because I answered in good conscience. Right. And I don't mind telling you when I see it. Right. Jesus gives each one a white robe. Watch. Come over after the church is gone. Because they were loyal to their cause. Yep. 
And they were blinded, and they didn't know it. They didn't know it. They were playing exactly the part of God, right. part that God had ordained for them to play. Right. He blinded them. Yep. We'd ordained a plan right. for them to come in. Right. And here, here, John looks over and sees these souls under the altar. And watch. He sees those souls. Watch what he calls them. They cry, Lord, how long? Watch. Just a little longer. See, let's get that as we go down right through. They realized that they murdered their Messiah. Yep. And they didn't know it. But then they realized it. Now that was some more folks. Yep. They got they got murdered back to pay for it. For doing the wrong. And now look what they think they had to do. See, they were guilty of murder. Well, they got murdered. Yeah. See, they cried out, "His blood be on us." See, that's right. And they were blinded. And if if they hadn't been blinded, God said, "Let them alone." Look, you understand what He's saying there? Right. See, it, it, it's not God saying, "Leave them alone." They're not worthy. Yeah. If that's the way He said it, He would just wipe them off, mm. right? Right. Are you reading? I mean, read, read what he's saying. But being that they was blinded by God, his grace reached down to them. Amen. Talk about amazing grace and give each one of them a robe because all Israel will be saved. Everyone that has his name written. That's right. Amen. All Israel is to be saved. To be brought in. Right. Let's see, going to the next one. 17. Going to 18. We, we read that one. We read that all through that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, back up then. Back up, brother, and we'll, we'll go. I was thinking we read it with. I guess we didn't. I thought I was posted two different sets of notes. This is paragraph 269 of the fifth seal. Now notice, though they had tried to get rid of Joseph, his grace reached to them. Now you remember the story how the, they tried to kill him, you know, and they tried and they said, no, we won't kill him, we'll put him down here and sell him. Though they tried to get rid of Jesus, he still comes right back around because <coughs> they was blind and gives them each one a white robe. Yep. Now you remember the statement I gave the other night, Brother Ren said, Seeing it like that, he said you could crawl under a concrete block with a 10-gallon hat on and never touch it. Yep. That's how little it makes you. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Because he was blind and gives him each one a white robe. He's going to take them right on in home anyhow. It doesn't make a bit of difference because he done said, I'll save them all anyhow. I like that. Don't you? Yeah, Verse 10. Notice they asked for revenge. See now, and if they had been the bride, it'd have been like Stephen, yeah. Father, forgive him. So his name's proven. This is not a, gen, a born again Christian. Right. He would have to be sold under the altar of the, the Jews, you know. But these are Jews that just come in. Say they ask for revenge. Notice again. See again. He said, "Notice it's not." He said, "It's thy brethren, the Jews, the hundred forty-four thousand. You remember until thy brethren are sealed." And they wanted revenge. They said, oh, we're going to, we want you to revenge us down there. <laughs> That's what they're doing until they get white robes. Yep. Once they get the white robe, they won't revenge no more. Right. Once they get on that altar and see God, we just reading the quote above. He said, just a little while now, just a little while for notice. Let me read it here. It's in the 10th verse. All right. And they cried with a loud voice saying, how long, oh Lord, how Holy and true, didst thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given to every one of them, and it was said, now he's reading the scripture, unto them that they should rest yet a little season. See, watch. A little season until their fellow servants. See now, what it is, the prophets now are preaching to Israel. See, till thy fellow servants also, thy fellow servant and also thy brethren, they should be killed, see. The ones that's predestinated to be done, 
So you should should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Amen. And once they're given white robes, it's going to be after the rapture. The 144,000 is going to get white robes after the rapture, which is eternal life, right? Amen. But the two witnesses is all the records you have of a rapture. It doesn't mention nope. 144,000 going up in a rapture. Nope. And all the studying I've done, I can't find right around saying they go. Right. I always believed they did, because right. where else would you put them? Right. Right. Amen. But maybe a little bit different. Amen. Notice again, and he said, it's not, he said, it's our brethren, the Jews, the hundred. Now they wanted revenge. They said, oh, we're going to, we want you to revenge us down there. He said, just a little while, man. Amen. Just a little while. Notice, let me read it here. It's in the 10th verse, all right? They cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, Lord? Holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given to every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet a little season. Watch. A little season until their fellows service. Now what is The prophets now are preaching to Israel. Right. Amen. The prophets are preaching to Israel Absolutely. while he's telling them yep. Mm -hmm. yep. to just hold on just a little while. Mm -hmm. I'm making a way mm -hmm. for you to be yep. redeemed. Right. Amen. Right. Right. I'm making a way that you can be brought in. Mm -hmm. The bride don't cry for revenge. Nope. Go to the next one now. Number 18. I got 106, six seal. We took that and there's nothing in the world I don't believe. But that bunch of, of uh, the Jews have went through a pre-tribulation period. When during the time of this life's wars, they were, they, they've got to be hated by everybody. And Eichmann killed millions of them in Germany. <laughs> you just read the trial, you heard the trial. Millions of innocent people slain Jews just because they were Jews. No other reason. The Bible said here that they were slain for their testimony of God or the, the word of God and the testimony of the hell. Now we find out that the bride was the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Right. These had no testimony of Jesus Christ. And we find out that the Bible says that all Israel, the predestinated Israel, will be saved, Romans 11. And we know that and there we seen them souls. All right. They're not. I'm going to go ahead and put this quote in here where you can argue. Because it sounds, and this is what I've always stated, you know, go ahead to 19. And I always thought that the souls under the altar, the fifth sealed Jew, had to go to the white throne to receive eternal life. I always thought that. And I had this quote to go with it to see because of this statement. It is in the second resurrection that the souls under the altar are set forth in the fifth seal. Revelation 6, 9 through 11 are given right robes and of course eternal life or there would be no point of white robes. So he goes to the fifth seal. Now watch. And they cried with a loud voice going down to the where he starts the paragraph. Now no particularly that none of these under the altar were killed for the testimony of Jesus. They were not like Antipas who was slain for holding fast his name. These are not born again ones with eternal life as their possession. They come up in the resurrection and receive life because of their stand on the word. And notice how these are crying out for vengeance they cannot be bride material. The bride turns the cheek and cries, forgive them, Father. They know not what they're doing. <coughs> Listen. Mm. Let's get to the last one. Let me get through. The millennium is to the Jews. Right. We are there on a honeymoon. Right. That's it. There is a millennium temple to be built according to Daniel 70 weeks. 
that he gave Ezekiel uh, 40 to 44 and tells how it will be built. All right. And we come back. That temple, as I've said, is not built as a sacrifice of altars and things. It's not there. It's a temple. Because they know who the, the Lamb is. Right. But it's built there to remind the Israelites of God's promise to them. Right. Who would be better to go back and build it than Israel? Absolutely. The millennium is to Israel. Because it's a promise in the Bible to David that his son would sit on his throne. Solomon fulfilled the natural. Jesus will be the son of David. Son of God, son of man, son of David. Right? Jesus will be the son of David in the millennium. He was not the son of David. So the woman that cried out, Son of David, have mercy on me. He didn't answer her. Because he was not in the office of Son of David. He was in the office of Son of Man. But when she said Lord, he heard her. Because he was her Lord. And she had a right to call him that. You see why it would take months to just keep on preaching on it? We see, in the millennium, he'd be son of David. Sitting on the throne of David. And Israel will be there. Right. The prophet said the 144,000 will be there yep. in the millennial reign. As eunuchs to the bride. We'll get to it later when we cover Dan and Ephraim. How they want to take it out and put back in. What happens? So he's bound to be 144,000 plus 24,000 in the millennium of Jews. What would be wrong with that fifth seal Jew showing up in the millennium? And that would fulfill all of the scriptures Amen. Absolutely. of David and his throne and God's chosen people. And they would still be his chosen people. But there's a vast difference between chosen people and bride of Christ. Bride of Christ is going to be there on the honeymoon. Israel's going to be there at 144,000 as servants to the bride. Somebody's going to build that millennium temple. And there's going to be a millennium. Well, let's go to the 20, number 20. Right. I added these in. <laughs> Paragraph 290 of the fifth seal. And they said, watch. Why can't we go back to the kingdom right now? He said, where's that in the Bible? Not in there. Right. The statement is, how long, how long? Right. Right. The statement is, they're saying, how long, how long? So when Brother Brown translated, he said, what? Why? Why can't we go back to the kingdom right now? So he's evidently going to show himself to them. And they're questioning how long. Why can't we go back to the kingdom right now? You talk about 144,000. This is Phil Seal Jew. Watch it. The Jewish kingdom is to be set on the earth. We are in the kingdom of God spiritual right. by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, John said the kingdom is in heaven mm -hmm. to be set. Right. And this is the kingdom of the gospel. Amen. See, we're in the kingdom of the gospel. Yep. Right. Right? right? But the kingdom of the Jews will be preached by yep. Yep. two prophets. 
those two prophets have got a great message to bring. Because right. right. they're going to tell them we're going into millennium. Sure. We're going to see the fulfillment. Mm -hmm. No wonder, brother, them others that's under the altar, yeah. they feel that pull. Sure. Right. <laughs> but the kingdom of the Jews will be preached by these two prophets. So notice the kingdom of the earth here. The kingdom of heaven is preached by the Jews are, listen, uh -huh. I mean to the Gentiles. Uh -huh. The kingdom of heaven is preached to the Gentiles. Yeah. Right? The right. Uh -huh. The kingdom here on earth is to be set up in the millennium. After the millennium to the Jews. It was after it starts. Right. And now notice, notice this now. Here while, while they are preaching, see, before these, these prophets ever arise on the scene, these Jews that had to die under Eichmann and them, each one of them that's predestinated is given a white robe. Yep. And each one of them is given a white robe as soon as that takes place. Yep. Did you read? The Bible says, Revelation 6, 9, 13, 11, until your fellow brethren are given white robes and then the 144,000 are going to be killed. That's right. Did you read that there? Or did you miss it? Right there in that quote. So let's reread a little. And I mean to the Gentile, the kingdom uh, here on the earth is to be set up in the millennium. The millennium is to the Jews. Correct. All right. After the millennium to the Jews. Now, notice this now. Here while they are preaching. Who? Right. Who's preaching? Right. See? Right. Before these, these prophets ever arrive on the scene. Before the prophets arrive on the scene. Read it. These Jews that had to die under Eichmann, Phil Seal, and them, each one of them that's predestinated is given by grace a white robe. Yep. Right. So there's the prophet. He says they'll get white robes before the 144,000 get killed. Well, right, if they got white robes, where are you going to put them? What position are you going to put them? I don't believe you can put them at the white throne. Nope. So why are you going to put them at the white throne when they already got it? Right, right. Man. 144,000 don't go to the white throne. Nope. They already got it. Right. The only ones go to the white throne is full of virtue. Right. Because they don't have it. Right. They have a confession, but not a possession. Now, Brother Richard Wilson and I have been talking this morning quite a bit on this because you that are listening to him, you hear him say some things in the last couple of messages, not four messages, where he's covering that he don't believe that the 144,000 will be killed until after the two prophets are killed. The two prophets are killed, go to rapture, then 144,000 are killed. And he said he believed they would step over and God would raise them up in the millennium in glorified bodies. I know for sure they're going to be in glorified bodies in the millennium. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. But you don't have no record of a rapture for the 144,000. No. That's right. They got to go somewhere. Got to do something. So then I can see. I'm not saying that I know it and agree or understand or whatever. I just say I can see because of what I see. Right. I see the fifth sealed Jew is going to be given eternal life. Yep. And they're going to recognize Jesus Christ. While they're the souls under the altar. 
Now, how are you going to get them back here to earth then? And where are they coming? Could it be that the 144,000 plus the 24,000 are raised in the millennium into glorified bodies? And could it be the fifth sealed Jew will also be raised there? Because in the millennium there will be a gospel to the heathen which will be raised from the dead. That will not be the fifth seal Jew. No. It's a gospel to the heathen. That heathen will be normal people. Not eternal people. Can't find it nowhere. No redemption for them. You got the words of the prophet that they'll be there. You have no records or scriptures and things that the 144,000 will be in the millennium. Right. But you got the prophet right. that says it will. Right. When we leave out of here, Israel starts getting the message. Right. Right. Yes, sir. And they start getting that message. And when they do, God's got a work to do. Yep. I was asked a question. said, so according to what our understanding, said, so Jesus goes with us to the marriage supper. He said, you guys are saying it's going to be three and a half more years after the Jacob's trouble. He said, what's Jesus going to be doing? He's got a lot of work. Yeah. He was crucified. His soul went to hell to preach to the lost. You agree? Mm -hmm. He come back up and picked up the Old Testament saints. You agree? Well, why couldn't he go to Israel? But the Rev said he takes us to the marriage supper and this is what he said, and slips away yep. mm -hmm. and comes down here. Yep. Mm -hmm. According to Daniel, 70 weeks. The 144,000 don't see Jesus until in the millennium. Because right. he he's not here in corporal body when he's appearing through the two witnesses. All right. The plan of redemption is unfolding. And God is doing it. Amen. They feel that pull when we go out of here. Let me quote another one. Brother Brown said, They see that light, pillar of fire, the halo, coming after the bride and think it's coming after them. It's his words. So now you've got the field sealed you a place to go. Yep. You don't put her before the white throne because she already has eternal life. <laughs> now you can put her in the millennium and see the dead can be raised and go into the millennium. The literal dead people can be raised and put into the millennium. As to be a heathen that the gospel can be preached to. We also see that that field sealed Jew can be there. Because it's to Israel. And they see it. Take on these things. Like I told Brother Richard this morning, I said, Brother, and I know he's thinking the same thing. Whether or not it would be this way or whether or not it would be that way. <laughs> but we see the plan of redemption. Right. That's it. Amen. At least we're talking about a redemption. Mm -hmm. yep. Where everybody else is just glory, hallelujah, how great we are and how we always was eternal and how that we don't need this and we don't need that. Church, we need every dab of redemption we can find. Amen. Amen. 
and that field sealed you I've told you over and over is the greatest example of grace that could ever be given to any mankind right amen that he would save them right that don't even want to be saved right you know that brother Brown said he heals them Jews every day right now and said they still don't believe him in his, as their healer if they're healed they got to be healed by Jesus Christ right amen. where are we at So then maybe I was right when I said the first four seals show us the plan of redemption. Right. Justification, sanctification, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and the revealed word. Bill mm-hmm. 6 and 7 shows how he done it. How did he do it? Justification, sanctification, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Right. Brother Brown said, seventh seal, continue on with the same simple message or you will work yourself away from the truth. That's a paraphrase, but it's pretty close. But I had heard, and now we have it back there in the office, that they were saying now that they had a drawing and they put up that Jesus come 69 and then preached three and a half years so he'd make 69 and a half back there and three and a half over here in the end time. And they got their drawing. But we are the drawing where Brother Brown that was verified and proven to be true. That he preached 69 weeks yep. to the cross. Amen. Right. And one week left to Israel. Amen. Right. After the rapture of Amen. the church. Amen. But you know what? Do you think that's going to change any of those people? I asked a brother to personally send a certain brother a copy of the real drawing of the Daniel 70 weeks. You think that'll change anything? Because people will say we don't know which one's true. The drawing ain't going to save you. But I want to see 69 and a half weeks. I want quotes for it. I want scripture for it. I want the Bible any word. Or the prophet any word to say that. But yet, the vast majority of this message believe that. I see the plan of redemption. All right. Amen. Let's stand together. Come on, brother. Think on these things. The plan of redemption. We'll get into the souls under the altar and cover more about the soul. Cover more about Eichmann and Hitler and all of that. The killing of all of them. Get under the Dan and Ephraim. That's why I've always told you folks. Seems like most people are running out of something to preach. I'm just getting to the place I can preach. I'm seeing everything just unfolding. I ain't seen an end to it yet. And I won't if it's a plan of redemption. If it ain't, I don't mind telling you I was wrong. I've never had any trouble saying I used to think it was this, because now I think it's that. Amen. Never had any trouble, huh? I've said it many times. What do we got, brother? 145 in a red book. 145 in a red book. Anybody have a need? Just remember these that are traveling. Remember Wade and Brother Forney and I will be traveling down to Brother Collins' and he's going to be down there hunting with us, but he ain't going to get to hunt to use the evening in some way. We've got to figure out some way to have services in the wood. In the woods, I guess. Late evening. Yeah, or later on their average. Because we want to hunt till dark. Right. And then we can maybe, you know, maybe we'll just have it all around the deer stand. Amen. That'd work good. We had a minister's meeting one time down in the woods years ago. Where we all camped out. Yep. We spent the night and got eaten up with a with mosquitoes and everything in the world. And old brother Paul Anderson, he said, 
Brother Dale said, I heard two mosquitoes arguing last night. Said, they said, arguing over who to pick up. Said, they said, well, let's don't get that guy because he's too big. <laughs> and he weighs 450 pounds. I don't mind having services in the woods, do you? I do all the time. You know what I done yesterday morning? I listened to three tapes, went straight through. Didn't see a deer at all. But I listened to three tapes. And you know what I even finished up doing? I thought I got a few minutes, and I hadn't even got to that where Brother Joe put it on there. I clicked over on Doyle Lawson and then got to hear some stuff. Yeah. That's my hunting. All right. That's my doing. And I enjoy it. Sure. Go ahead. Precious Jesus.
do, don't we? Yes, amen. Think about all that he's done for you and I. The more that he's revealed his word. redemption of the world so then we've got all the plan of redemption yes Please. lord we love you and we thank you guide us now be with the people on the way home take care of everybody be with terrence and lisa and nanny as they're traveling down to augusta and be with wade and the forty myself going yes. down to lincoln to lord to hunt a little bit and you just come on the scene and be with us yes. and let your love be made manifest in each one of our hearts and lives forgive our sins cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. You're just... <laughs> Jesus.